hello hello welcome back to divine destiny guide i pray you're doing well wherever you are sending you the purest of love and light god is for us who can be against us we are blessed and highly favored we're secured and we are protected so welcome if it's your first time returning soul travelers new soul travelers thank you for your love and your support while i was pre-shuffling and meditating you probably know the song by michael bolton you are the one you are the one it's like i heard that song you are the one so i'm just getting a little backstory as i open the deck it says the mourner so maybe for some of you it says a recent loss brings a period of grieving reflect on what has been lost then give it new meaning to emerge stronger so whatever it is that you may have been sad about you probably took some time out to mourn to grieve and again if it's the passing of a family loved one my sincere condolence to you so you spend time to reflect on it it could be even in life it could be that you went through a breakup a divorce um you left a job i mean people mourn for different reasons but you took time out to reflect and it's like you decide to choose the positive side you gave it new meaning and you emerge stronger like the phoenix is like whatever it is that you went through or you were going through it probably had you out for a little bit feeling down crush sad you had to mourn you had to grieve whatever this thing is or was and it's like now it's like you 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 may have a better understanding of why things happen, why it had to happen. What's the takeaway from that situation for you? What lessons have you learned? I mean, even in the passing of a loved one, it's very sad. But I look at it like at least now I have somebody in the spiritual realm who is looking out for me. And also it's trying to live your life with more meaning because life is short and also thinking about the person who went home went to be with the lord that they would want you to live live full and die empty because at some point it's going to be your turn right so again it's just looking on the brighter side no it doesn't take away the pain the sadness but at least you know it's just looking at the brighter side to comfort yourself even if it's the it's the breaking up of a relationship or a partnership even though it's sad but at the same time there are lessons that you take away or you can so that you don't make the same mistakes in in the future so yeah so you mourn a little bit and then you realize that you had to be your hero it says here the hero it's time to become your own superhero and stop waiting for someone to come and save you find your inner superpowers yeah so for a lot of you a lot of us whatever it is that oppose you or came up against you like i said the mourner you had to grieve this and a lot of you you had to go through this by yourself nobody was there to save you nobody came to your rescue for a lot of you you were seen as the outcast when i was pre-shuffling earlier i saw the card the rebel and it's probably because you decide not to to bend to bow to so to societal norms or people want you to fit in a group or something 
and you decide, you know what? No, I am going to be me. I am going to live the life that divine calls me to be. And, and you're not, you don't care about the opinions of others. And so for a lot of people, they saw strength in number. So they went and support the other side. The people who were opposing you are the persons who are against you. And so you had to learn to stand up for yourself, to defend yourself, to be your own hero, to save you because nobody else is going to come to do it. And so with that, you were able to find your inner superpowers standing up for yourself. You know, it's like no cross, no crown is like if we don't have obstacles and, and challenges, we don't know how strong we are. And so, yes, even in, ooh, even in the saddest of times, there are positive things that, again, it depends on how you look at it, that can come from those situations as well. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you could have been dealing with some vampires, probably energetic vampires as well. In your relationships, they were emotionally draining you. What you were going through. The destroyer. You had people who were trying to destroy your solid foundation. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the loner. The loner. Yeah, so for a lot of you... You were, you had to do this by yourself. You were by yourself doing this. Periods of solitude. You had to walk that path alone by yourself. You know, with the night here. You had to save yourself. Yeah, the warrior. Yeah. So a lot of you, it says illuminate sub subconscious fears. To defeat and command respect of your enemies. Discover your warrior spirit. So for a lot of you, yeah, you had to stand up and fight for yourself. You had to fight. You had to reclaim your name. Because a lot of people probably were coming up against you. To defame your character. To discredit you. Slander you. Assassinate your character. Or they wanted to take what you have. You had to stand up and defend yourself. And because of that, you know, a lot of people, they came up against you. It says you're the villain. Someone is working against you to disrupt your success. Be vigilant and protect yourself against the evil eye. So yes, it's like a lot of things were going on or maybe it's still going on in the background here. People were sending you the evil eye, working against you to disrupt your peace, your success, whatever it is that you were working on. And again, because a lot of you wouldn't fit in, people probably called you, made you seem like a villain. You had to become this ice queen here. It says, don't chase after things or people that have left you in the cold. Wow. Practice the subtle art of detachment. And that is what a lot of you, you learned. A lot of people, they teach you how to be by yourself. Because a lot of people thought that they were punishing you. They wanted you to call them and beg for help. So they left you out there stranded by yourself. It's like they threw you to the wolves. A lot of these people... They stood by and they watch people just rip you, shred you, shred us apart. And they did nothing. They did nothing. They said nothing. And now is you master the art. It's like, okay, they left you out there by yourself as a loner. We saw that you had to fight as the warrior. You had to stand up for yourself. And it's like, no, it's like they turn you into this beast. 
where now you know how to take care of yourself. These same, same people are afraid now. Because no, you're not chasing after anybody who left you out in the cold. You're, you're saving your energy for yourself. It's like, no, it's like, uh-uh. <laughs> Don't chase after anybody who doesn't mean the best or have the best intentions for you. They left you out in the cold. So now you know how to freeze people out too. So it's like the same thing. They wanted you to be alone. Now you love being alone. You love being alone. I mean, like I love track and feel, you know, but it's like, no, I know I can't win these people, but it's like, unless you're Usain Bolt, you know, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, Veronica Campbell, Arsha Carr Richards. I mean, I'm not coming out there. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not coming out there to chase after what, you know, left me abandoned. So again, a lot of you, you're just learning to hold your own, to stand up for yourself. And it's like the people who were there for you, you know who they are and and it's really in your dire moments you get to find out the people who have your back the people who support you when you're out in the cold when you're down and out when you're stranded i mean it's all nice and good when everything is well to have friends but what about when you're down in the valley <laughs> yep some of you your influencers. So the things that you have learned for a lot of you, you're using this to influence others around you in a positive way. And because of that, it's like great things will come your way. So it's like the things that you overcame, the challenges and the battles that you are faced with now you can go back to encourage others to say i am a testimony i have been there I'm, i've done that yeah a lot of these people you know it's like they they want to come back begging now see the romantic they want to come back begging but spirit is saying whatever it is move slowly Move slowly with those people. No time. It says this is not the time to rush. Take your time to look over the details and the practicalities involved. Because especially when you know that you have gone through some things in the past. This is what I'm talking about with the mourner. It's learning. Taking the time out. To reevaluate your life, your situation. And that way you can, when you come back, then you know exactly what you have faced, what you've overcome, the things you can deal with, the things you're not going to tolerate. Again, it's like, it's about the way you choose to look at life and things. Yes, even though those things were meant to break you. But if you can just look at the brighter side, it didn't break you, you're still here. You can still focus, do what you have to do. And like I said, sometimes the worst of situations can bring out the best in us. It's all about how you look at life and look at things. See, the harder they come, the harder they fall. So for a lot of you, a lot of people were coming up against you. And it's like as time goes by, there are certain things in life that I look at differently. And it's so funny because... I, this reader I heard, she mentioned it. I'm like, oh my goodness, I was just thinking that like a day ago where, you know, how, again, they say hurt people hurt people. And it's true, but it doesn't have to be that way. Again, a lot of us who are helping people, it's from the hurt that we are helping people that we can come back with our torch to help, to hold the light up to guide others 
on their path. It's also sometimes people will use the phrase, if, so, if, if a lot of people say the same thing over and over, then it must be true. Sometimes it's true, but a lot of the times it's not. Because what I've come to realize is that a lot of these people who are bullies, they gather together for this very reason. Because they know that if all of them can come together to build this case, this lie, then how could people not believe them? It's only you alone. You're that loner. It's only you alone. How can you stand against all these people? And so for a lot of you, God is your lawyer. He's your juror. I mean, and he's the one who vindicates who give you back your rights, who clears your name, because these people, I mean, they did the most. So yes, it's like there are certain things as I go along in life, just as I said, where they said, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. I don't think so. It's like, no, if somebody hurt me, I don't have time to keep looking over my shoulder to see what else you're gonna do to me again. No, it's like my peace is too important to keep snakes around me, anybody I cannot trust. So, you know, it's just be open, be open because a lot of the things, and like I said before that I saw the rebel card. So for a lot of us, there are things that we learn growing up that we pass down through our generation. And as you grow up, as you mature spiritually as well, you, can, you, you get to see things in a different light, a different angle. Yes, yeah, so a lot of these people, this card came out, it said they counted you out. Absolutely. And this is why you had, wow, it says your time out. Spirit is sitting them down. Thank you. So yeah, a lot of these people, this is why you had to be your own hero. Say It's like you had nobody to rely on, to depend on but God. Nobody was there for you to support you. It's like a lot of people were busy cheering on. Yeah, watching to see you fall. Looking to see if you're going to get back up. One bad apple spoils the whole bunch. So yeah, so people are realizing again, this, this could be a lot of group, people working together. And now people are able to see who the ringleader is, who the bullies are. These people underestimated you, that you are a blessing in disguise. I'm telling you. Wow. And a lot of you, you learned the lesson and you count your blessing. This is what I'm talking about. It's about perspective. It's like they say, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. So yeah, it's like you learned the lesson and it's like you're not going back. You're not going back. Like we saw that card with the villain, people sending you evil eye and you may have people in your past that you love, could be a, a lover, wants to come back and spirit is saying no. It's like, you know, take time out to reflect. Think about the next move. Think about it carefully before you move on it, before you open back your heart and your life to those people, the same people who neglected you, who left you out in the cold, where now it's like people look at you as a, a ice queen, that's the queen of swords, all because now you're not standing for the foolishness, you're not putting up with it, you're calling people out for the liars that they are, you're telling them, come to me correctly or do not come at all. You're telling these people, don't, don't come for me if I didn't send for you. And you're not tolerating the foolishness or anybody playing in your face. So yes, a lot of people may look at you. They may think you're a sharp tongue and all of this kind of stuff. But it's like when you've had your boundaries tested for so long, it's like, again... How much are you going to put up with? 
at some point you have to stand up for yourself protect yourself like the warrior be your own hero because it's like you've learned so much you you refuse to go back you refuse to go back so a lot of these people one bad apple spoils the, the whole bunch yeah they're one of a kind they're all the same thing all of them are the same thing they're all evil this is why people work in groups because they're all the same loggerheads the blind leading the blind nobody is there to correct you know it's if if anything let's let's hurt let's and it's a it's people who get together in that way it's just to do bad things towards other people like i said the card with the rebel it's just because you are different you don't fit in and these people are groupies because they think the same they enjoy the same things and you see things differently you're you're not a people pleaser so yeah it's like birds of a feather flock together that's what it is and so yeah you are a blessing in disguise and a lot of people again they're coming to find out who is the real deal like i said the song you are the one so a lot of you you know it's you're realizing that people are realizing you are the one You are the one who is different. You are the one who doesn't settle. It's like even though there were in groups and you are outnumbered, you are still the one. You're the honest one. Every dog have their day. Absolutely. Every dog have their day. So a lot of these people for all the things that they have done they did not even think about it they didn't think about the long term result of the ramifications of all the things that they have done or you know they're doing right now what the backlash to that can be or could be and they didn't know that for some of these people they're going to have their day in court you know for some whether it's it's court on earth or court in the spirit whether it is the physical jail here on earth or the 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 spiritual jail but they will have to give an account of all the things that they have done wrongfully towards you you are the one you are the chosen one you are the light and a lot of these people they thought that because you seem so weak you seem like you could be easily manipulated or bullied this is why they they really went too far they pushed the envelope it's like they outdid themselves and yes a lot of you you're come you're coming back with blood in your eyes that mean revenge like we saw the card the mourner card is like the phoenix you crash and burn but it's like when you come back like i said before you're like a beast you come back with revenge you come back like that ice queen is like you're completely different you're not afraid to cut people off because again for a lot of you they left you out there by yourself anyway so you're used to it so it's like what's the what's the need it's like you don't i don't need you anyway because when i needed you where were you and a lot of these people they're going to want to come back when they see you on the hop and up all because you survive they want to come back oh my goodness no 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 it's like hold that same attitude that you had when i was going through my trials and my tests that's what i'm talking about with you not having people play in your face because you gain so much wisdom from just going within out there struggling on your own by yourself wow yeah
So you're coming back with a revenge. And it says your success is gaining momentum. So yeah, like we saw with the influencer. So for a lot of you, you're doing great things. You're doing awesome things. And it's like, keep up the good work, the awesome work. It's going to pay off. Yeah, it's you against the world. I'm telling you. It's you against the world. It was a hard thing. It's a heavy burden. Like I said, and a lot of people, they believe those who were in the pack. All because you were outnumbered. But again, in the spirit, you have your spiritual army with you. God don't miss anything. He doesn't. And this is why he hid you in plain sight. Yeah, like I said before, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. So you're not allowing anybody to fool you twice because you already learned your lessons. You learned your lessons. It says here, show me your company and I'll show you who you are. So a lot of these people, these groupies, even if they want to come back to make it seem as if they're different, they're not this kind of person, they already showed you who they are based on the people that they sided with, based on the people that they chose to be in alliance with. Wow. Yeah, you are the sun. They counted you out. Can you imagine how really silly, how dumb a lot of these people feel or will feel to know that you were the blessing that came in their life and they counted you out. They overlooked you. They judge you by your cover. When you are the one who come to be the light, the warmth, the blessings to spice up their life. Oh, I'm telling you, a lot of people, they're going to be kicking themselves. Yep, they're going to be foaming at the mouth. I'm telling you, when they realize, or some of them, they're already realizing this. Yep, so a lot of these people, one bad apple spoiled the whole bunch. They're going to left to juggle because this is what they wanted for you. They wanted you to juggle your pentacles, your money, your stability, not to have peace in your home, in your life. They wanted you to be off kilter, off balance. And now this, this is their portion. This is why it is so important that we, the things that we are doing, we hold ourselves accountable. Because then it's like, what if the table is turned? Would you be happy with what you're serving out to somebody? And I think if we do that, this is not about perfection. But this is, like I said, holding ourselves accountable to how we treat others. And wouldn't this world be, oh, a much better, brighter and blessed place to be for all of us? But because of the selfishness of people, like I said, just because you don't fit in, just because people think that you shouldn't be somewhere, or, you know, they want to come against you to make you sad. People want to see, like with the mourner card, people want you to be grieving, to be crying. It's like your pain made people happy. I mean, these are really sick and twisted folks. Because in the real world, people who love genuinely, when you see somebody crying, even if, it's a stranger. You want to stop to ask them, are you okay? Can I help you with something? But when you have people stand by and they watch you to see how the burdens that they're piling onto you, if it's breaking you, and when you fall down, they laugh and they're looking to see if you're going to get up. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Mm. Nine of cups. I'm telling you, you are the blessing in disguise. Because for a lot of you, you are love. You are not codependent. You're not toxic. You're coming with a nine of cups. It's like, if this was a relationship, 
all it is is that person coming in would have been that one cup because you already have nine by yourself. You know how to love yourself, how to pour back into yourself, how to be single, self-sufficient, loving. And this is what a lot of these people too, they hated about you is that the way you took care of yourself, your self-love, your self-care. And so a lot of them, this is why they even tell lies that, oh, you must have somebody taking care of you because you couldn't be doing this by yourself. And for a lot of you, especially if you're single, it's God who is taking care of you. He's your sugar daddy. And he pours his love on you and you're loving on him. And you take care of yourself. And for a lot of you, this is what these are the things people assassinate you because if you're if you're living, taking care of yourself, no, it can't be. You must have somebody taking care of you. Yeah, I'm telling you, I love this for you. I love this for, for us. You know, a lot of you, like I said, you're called to teach and to lead others as well to be passionate to give back to pour into others yeah with the page of ones and the emperor to be a boss and a leader i love it for you i love it for us you are the one they counted you out you are the blessing in disguise now the world and everybody else will get to know the real you until next time Take care and be blessed.